Hello ladies and gents, welcome to another Pro Evolution Soccer 2020 tutorial with your host Spoonie Pizzas. Today we are looking at how to install the Ultimate Graphics mod by Chinny. This is uh, looking better than ever and I'll just show you a gameplay clip. This isn't the best to be honest, um, you know, my my shadow play doesn't record all that well so that's why I showed you the screenshots beforehand. Today we're looking at the Graphics mod Ultimate all-in-one package from Chinny. This is the latest edition released on October the 4th. So he's got some pictures here. So here's the burnabout. And like I said, I will leave a link to this page. You may need an account to actually like the post. So what you need to do is actually come down to the post and hit like, and that will reveal the hidden content. But you can see the, uh, the pictures that are affected by this mod. If you don't use the stadium server, so I'm just going to click that link and then click download. Okay, so once that's completed, all you need to do is in this bottom left hand corner, click this little arrow, click show in folder. Then we've got the graphics mod ultimate all in one package dot ra. Right mouse click on that baby and go to extract here. Okay, so once that's done, just double click on this folder. So <laughs> you can see what he's got done here. Open this, copy these three folders. Then you just want to find your cider folder. Mine is kept in eFootball PES 2020. So this is directly into my game folder. There's my cider folder. So just double click on that. Right click and click paste. Click replace the files in the destination. And there we go. Okay, so now what I would say now is if you've not installed the graphics mod before, you need to go to your cider.ne. And I will leave a link in the description and also add a comment as well. But you need to add this line here. Okay. And then there's one just here as well. Lua.module, that one there, graphicsmod.lua. And then you're ready to go. But like I said, I'll leave those in the link in the description, and that goes into your cider.ini. And just make sure you save it and close it. And that's all for me, ladies and gents. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.